Sometimes I think you really just need to let yourself go and have fun and experiment to find out where you can go with your creative boundaries. And two of the most innovative mediums in the Liquitex FX range that allow you to do spontaneous things and have fun in a childlike, playful sort of way are pouring medium and string gel. With pouring medium, it allows you to do just that, pour the paint. And you might think, well, why can't I pour the paint just to take a fluid paint out of the tube or out of a jar and pour it down onto my canvas or paper? You could do that. Problem with it is that you might get crazing. Crazing is what happens when you the paint starts to dry and it starts to separate. It's almost like looking at a desert where the mud has dried and it starts to get all these little cracks and valleys in it, which is not a desirable effect. Pouring medium solves that. The resin in it holds the paint together. It allows it to have a nice even surface that's extremely glossy. String gel also allows you to pour onto the surface, but in a more stringy, honey-like consistency, so you can get more precise lines with your paint. You only need to add about 10% paint to about 90% of either pouring medium or string gel. So in that way, you can extend your paint quite a bit and still have it be very, very bright. I've already mixed some up here, and I've got pouring medium ready to go. So we're going to give it a shot here. When you start to lay the pouring medium down, you'll see it starts to spread out a little bit, but it's going to hold its shape as well. And it looks really, really glossy. It's Obviously, it's very, very wet right now. But the thing about it is when it dries, it's going to maintain that high gloss to it. So often people will look at a dried piece and they'll think that it's actually still wet. They'll say, can I touch it? Yeah, I absolutely can. Pretty neat. And I can take a little bit more while it's still wet like this. I can take some yellow here and I can also pour that on top if I want. That'll sort of sink into those layers right there. Get all sorts of cool things going. As I said before, it's sort of like being a kid. You're just pouring things all over the place, and it's really fun. And I, I think it can open up your creativity quite a bit. And if I have a pattern down like that, I can also take a palette knife and drag it through and actually start to get a mixed sort of marbled effect that happens in there as well. And I've got some string gel ready to go, too. And with string gel, like I said, it's got more of a honey-like consistency. I'm going to let a little bit of it drip out of the cup here. And it's got this slow sort of feel. And you get these fine little ribbons. So I can use a cup, a squeeze bottle, something like that. Look how fine you can get. But what I can also do is take a palette knife if I want, or the end of a brush. I could load some on there. And that can let it drip too. I can carry right on over and these two things can be mixed together. So I can create the large areas of the pour and the fine areas of the string gel. Let yourself go. Try something new.